After watching last Saturday's games, we took away a couple things. First and foremost, in the midst of finals where everyone is sleep and shower deprived, it's going to be okay because nothing will quite be as bad as Ohio State's loss this week. Unless you go to Ohio State, then that's just a double whammy for you. Number two, Ohio State lost against number 10, Michigan State, 34-24, denying Ohio State chances to play in the BCS Championship and in the Rose Bowl. So instead, Michigan State will meet Stanford in Pasadena for the Rose Bowl, and FSU will play number three, Auburn, after their win against Alabama and Ohio State's loss. Another takeaway is that upsets do happen in college football a lot. Another upset that happened this past weekend was between rivals Oklahoma versus Oklahoma State. Although only ranked number 18, Oklahoma earned their spot in the Sugar Bowl against Alabama after beating number 6, Oklahoma State. So with all these upsets, Karma might have a play in this. Just last week, Ohio State's Marcus Hall was one of the players thrown out of the game after a fight against the Wolverines. Their coach decided not to play in this week against Michigan State because he was disappointed. If Karma's the case for the OSU loss, will Florida State be able to win the BCS championship after their quarterback, Jameis Winston, was accused of sexual assault even though the charges were dropped? I guess we'll have to see. Another controversy this week was Green Beckham's first touchdown for Missouri. Although he had a phenomenal catch overhead, he didn't have full control when he landed. But the refs never reviewed the play, so Missouri took an early lead over Auburn. I guess it doesn't matter though because Auburn ended up winning the game against Missouri and they're now likely to face Florida State in the BCS Championship. So what we learned from this is that the refs aren't always perfect and it always helps if your receivers are very, very tall. And that sophomores have been on a roll lately. Along with Green Beckham, who's a sophomore, Sammy Coates of Auburn also had a good game with a touchdown and six catches. Winston, who's technically a freshman because he was a redshirt last year, proved why he's a Heisman Trophy favorite this week with 330 passing yards and three touchdowns. Lastly, Michigan State's quarterback, Connor Cook of Michigan, threw 304, 304 passing yards and three touchdown passes. Speak of the devil, our last takeaway of the week is that Connor Cook is our hottie of the week. <laughs> Finally, something in college football that can't be debated. Thanks for watching this week's On Campus Sports. Check back for the latest updates. This is Lydia on Trisha Fishview on, on Campus Sports.